Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, the King Airline expands again. Also, VSS Unity flight window opens on December 11th, and East Starling conducts successful flight tests of its half-scale e-aircraft. Thank you for joining us this Friday. We hope you had a great week. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. We have an exciting episode today filled with the latest news, so let's start with Textron Aviation is launching the Beechcraft King Air 260 turboprop. Assembly production of the King Air 260 is already underway. Certification and deliveries are expected in early 2021. The announcement comes on the heels of the recently introduced Beechcraft King Air 360. The King Air 360 achieved FAA type certification in October and customer deliveries are currently underway. The King Air 260's key enhancements are the addition of the ISNS Thrust Sense Auto Throttle along with a new digital pressurization controller. The cockpit also offers the Collins Aerospace Multi-Scan Weather Radar System. The King Air 260 has an occupancy up to 9 people and a maximum range of 1,720 nautical miles. The Thrust Sense Auto Throttle automatically manages engine power from takeoff roll through the climb, cruise, descent, go round, and landing phases of the flight. This enhancement reduces pilot workload and is designed to prevent overspeed or underspeed, over temp and over torque conditions. Another key update in the cockpit is the new digital pressurization controller, which automatically schedules cabin pressurization during both the climb and descent. The pressurization gauges have been integrated with the Collins Aerospace Proline Fusion flight deck. After the break, the B-29 dock is taking a winter break. I'll tell you why after these messages. Swift Fuels proudly introduces the Forever Avgas STC. One simple upfront purchase entitles the Forever STC certificate holder to receive all current and future Avgas STCs that the FAA issues to Swift Fuels. The best part? It's priced today at only $100, and the prepaid certificate never expires. Get your Forever Avgas STC today at SwiftFuelsAvgas.com. To celebrate the holiday season, you'll receive 20% off any King Schools course from right now through December 4th. It's our last sale of the year. To get 20% off any King Schools course, go to kingschools.com and choose your courses. You can order online or call one of our customer service pilots at our 800 number and use the code STUFFING. It's that easy. VLT is just another tick on your pre-flight checklist until you need it. Did you ever wonder what would happen if you had an engine failure over the mountains, marshland, or other dangerous terrain? Take to the skies confidently with the most reliable and highest performing ELTs and safety products on board that instantly mobilize life-saving search and rescue across the world. Read survivor stories from aviators and adventurers who survived life-threatening encounters thanks to ACR and Artec's life-saving technology. Luck favors the prepared at SurvivorClub.com. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in the segment we call Around the Patch. So let's start with Winter Maintenance Begins for B-29 Dock. The 2020 flying season has come to a close for B-29 Dock, and that means the team is now in winter maintenance mode. While 2020 wasn't what they had planned for, their mission was still a success, thanks to the hard work and dedication of so many volunteers and those who joined them for a ride flight, or abbreviated tour stop. Those tour stops included cities in nine states. In all, Dock traveled more than 3,200 nautical miles over some 53 flight hours. Tamarack Opening Transformation Center in Aiken, South Carolina. Tamarack Aerospace Group is adding a transformation center at the Aiken Regional Airport in South Carolina. This transformation center will offer active winglet installations to clients in 10 days or less. The center will be associated with the aviation veteran Mike Laver's Carolina Turbine Support, which has brokered service and ferried aircraft worldwide for decades. They also have a long history as a vendor for the USAF. GoGo completes sale of commercial aviation business to Intelsat. GoGo has completed the sale of its commercial aviation business to subsidiary of Intelsat SA for $400 million in cash. GoGo will continue as a publicly traded company, now singularly focused on leveraging its ATG network and 
proprietary spectrum to serve the business aviation market. The proceeds from the transaction significantly strengthens GoGo's financial position by reducing its net debt position and enhancing the company's ability to invest in growth opportunities, including GoGo 5G. Flyway launches a next-gen flight planning website. Flyway CC is announcing the fastest way to flight plan with the launch of a free website for pilots. With Flyway, pilots can get all the procedures and airport diagrams they need for a trip in one click, reducing pre-flight workload. Flyway also provides quick and easy access to NOTAM's METAR staffs, important frequencies, runway information, and more. Flyway works seamlessly on desktop, mobile, and tablets. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. December 11th is when the window opens for the VSS Unity flight. Virgin Galactic has announced its new flight window since it paused the spacecraft preparation in response to state guidelines from New Mexico Department of Health to reduce the spread of COVID-19. The new flight window will open on December 11th, pending good weather conditions and technical readiness. This flight expects to fulfill a number of objectives, including testing elements of the customer cabin, as well as assessing the upgraded horizontal stabilizers and flight controls during boost. The flight will also carry payloads as part of the NASA Flight Opportunities Program. The flight will be conducted by essential personnel only. No guests or media will be on site in accordance with company and state COVID-19 protocols. The operational footprint at the New Mexico facilities has been further minimized in the past two weeks. Only essential staff will be on site to support the pre-flight operations ahead of the flight and the day of the flight. After these messages, a milestone has been met in Samad Aerospace Starlink program. Those details after the break. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. I believe that if people use the Landing Doctor Training Program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training, and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working, and you're gonna hear more about it. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. East Starling conducts successful flight tests of its half-scale e-aircraft. A milestone has been met in Samad Aerospace Starlink program as they conducted the successful conventional takeoff and landing flight test of the company's 50% scale fully electric aircraft. During the CTOL flight test, the aircraft took off at a length of 250 meters, demonstrating potential for short takeoff and landing. Takeoff and landing were smooth, and the vehicle maintained a comfortable cruise at a speed of 90 miles per hour airborne over five minutes. The flight test included evaluations on aircraft flight dynamics, performance, as well as handling qualities. As the East Starling adapts a semi-blended wing body design, it requires a low angle for takeoff. It is important to understand when the aircraft is capable of taking off and at which speed. Apart from the slow and fast taxiing on the runway as well as takeoff and landing, the half-scale demonstrator also performed banking maneuvers in addition to tests on yaw, pitch, and roll. The results reportedly show it to be very stable in terms of handling quality. Among other tests of subsystems were brake telemetry, redundancy links, and ensuring the CG of the aircraft is at a correct design place. The aircraft performance matched predicted calculations. Well, that does it for our show today. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube and check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. 
Remember that Airborne Unlimited is currently operating on our winter schedule, which means we are streamed Monday, Wednesday, and on Friday. You can also catch us on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory. We hope you enjoy the show. We'll see you next time.